Hi, beloveds. Blessings, blessings. Mm. Live time. Time for us to connect. I love that. So I hope you all are feeling okay or even amazing in the new energies of May. I will talk a little bit about the month of May, which is actually an upgrade month. We have done such an incredible work, January, February, March, and especially April. And now it's time for upgrades. So I'm going to talk about that. And then, as always, in the group field, in no time, no space, we gather and see what kind of activation that can assist us in this specific period of time. So let's take a couple of breaths and tune into our heart and expand our heart vibration. And throughout this transmission, we ask only for what is in the highest of the highest of the highest for each and every one of us to be received. And we ask for full protection by God's infinite love, light and power, closing all negative portals, all inorganic artificial timelines. And if you feel that you are well, very much like high, high, high up, you can really ground yourself. So I talked with many of my sisters and brothers, <laughs> including my own daily practices. I have needed to go further down in my grounding and not only ground into the core of Mother Earth, but you can actually ground down, continue your grounding, because sometimes the electromagnetic field of Mother Earth is so uh, upgrading, is changing so massively, so it's a little bit intense when we ground, we don't feel that we get the stabilization that we need. So then we can go further down and ground into the galactic heart and see if that can assist us to feel more grounded. If we need even more assistance, we can go down to the cosmic heart, ground there and see, okay, wow. And then we can go all the way down to the universal heart and even down to the multiversal heart of the multiversal mother and then we are actually since we are also very expanded and we are more and more operating in our multi-dimensional self sometimes that periods is not enough to anchor and ground into the earth we need to go further down as we're becoming also much more connected to the galactic energy bodies the next 12 which is the cosmic energy bodies and the next 12 the universal energy bodies and then the multiversal energy bodies so beloveds the upgrade time now is actually next level of being able to compassionately witnessing our journey with 100% unconditional love and it takes time to raise the quotient of unconditional love towards ourselves. And especially since we have been through a total amnesia, we incarnated to a very dense planet and our memory bank was clear, but also we couldn't keep the consciousness level that we hold now because the energies of earth was completely different so as we are now moving for forward and we are upgrading ourselves to a state of really understanding who we are and what we are undergoing the liberation and the ascension and the awakening process in the beginning if we look at programs, for an example, because we still have programs running in our field, uh, in the beginning, a program is a truth for us. So it can be about what masculine energy is about, for an example. So the program of the distorted masculine or the old masculine um, is in the beginning a truth for us. So the program is a truth system running in our field. 
um, and we do, do believe it's it's true for us so we live and operate from that program and we make choices and we think and we feel out of that program and then we come to a state where we notice that oh my god this is a program it can be a program about yourself about your mission um, about the separation whatever and when the moment we notice that this is a program we can go through a very hard and intense dark night of the soul but the important stage the next stage is to be able to witness that this is a program that has been running in our field maybe even for several lifetimes a program that we have chosen as a karmic lesson to carry from our ancestor lineage so that program was a truth and now we understand that this is not true anymore and we're still noticing and acknowledging that we every now and then still are running in it so we start to clear the tr this program and we can clear it energetically but we also have chosen to live through it so for an example let's say food uh, the program around food i have a program that i do believe i, I that i need food to have energy right so if i don't eat i feel unsafe and then i feel that i will have less energy but it's actually the opposite way around right and when i don't have enough time to reprogram this program that the antichrist forces just keep streaming into the field from many different ways through nanotechnology 5g through the food we're eating I every now and then go back to running that program but then I managed to clear it and then it takes a time for us to reprogram and every now and then we fall back to the program and that's the moment and this is the moment we are experiencing now as we are evolving we're actually managing to witness this from a compassionate state and a full compassionate state is when we just observe and we don't judge ourselves. and this is goes also out to other people that we are noticing or running in these programs maybe programs that we have been cleared to be able to like really with unconditional love in the witnessing stage you know really allowing that program to be cleared in the time it's requested and um, once we are in that that state where we plug into it sometimes we clear it and s slowly slowly sometimes very fast manage to reprogram it that's when we are in the upgrade state so there's a lot of programs around the mission about financial situations about the outer about ourselves about the entire world the incarnation and the multi-dimensional levels that uh, we are now seeing clearly clearly and clearly and we are reprogramming so it's a massive time of upgrade and everything becomes so much easier and so much lighter and brighter even the most intense clearings becomes actually a pretty profound experience when we manage to hold a high level of witnessing stage so this is really something that we are experiencing right now and all these strong upgrades that we are experiencing they are there for a reason and they are there for us to reach higher and higher levels of unconditional love towards all beings and all creation and everything that is happening in the outer in this world unconditional love and then also it happens for us to activate and embody harmlessness in every situation and that's not always easy right when someone is acting out on us or behaving really bad towards us or towards someone else to as soon as possible move into that state of harmlessness and the more we do this because it hasn't been out there in the world right 
people have we have been contracting we have been protecting we have been judging we have been scared and all of those things but we're moving more and more into this incredible upgrades there's actually incredible light packages coming down from the solar flares from god from our family of light that our light body now is ready to receive so we're being activated in a physical like our nervous system can more and more move into a harmlessness state no matter what is happening and the mind and our emotions and our spiritual connection all of that so it, it's a massive incredible upgrade moment right now so we have unconditional love we are harmlessness and then to be able to move into a space of peace and neutral because i've talked about this before but i used to love to be super excited and i'm still getting very excited it's like part of my personality but with like very highs there will be very deep lows so also when we can move into this neutral state and feeling peace even when things is not working out as we have expected things are ending we're experiencing um, challenges we can like move into the state of feeling at peace and in trust and all this unconditional love harmlessness and going into the state of neutral is for us to uh, live a life of less and less attachment so we also starting to notice when we suddenly have become attached to an outcome because we have experienced so much flow and bliss and suddenly you know our ego personality has started to you know really want a certain outcome so we also get to practice and get upgraded into a state of detachment where we allow the highest energy of the eternal god source vibration to create synchronicity and actually create our lives out beyond of what we could expect in our human mind so the outer experiences that are happening they are moving us into this all the time more and more upgrades 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 and if you ask yourself what do you believe is an upgrade we might believe that it's like an upgrade is when my third eye expands and i can see that my guides more and i can receive more messages yes but to receive that to be able to go to that state we need to be able to be in peace and neutral and feel that we are in a harmless state and feeling having that state of unconditional love right otherwise we cannot upgrade our vision our third eye our intuitive uh, abilities and all of those things so all these outer experiences is for us to deepen and embody unconditional love harmlessness and neutral state and as this is happening you me and probably all of you listening now are becoming transmission points of this energy so here we go all of that the challenges we have been undergoing was for us to be upgraded to this moment where we more and more emanate the intelligence and the encodement of unconditional love imagine we are hundreds of thousands of people that right now are becoming these transmission points on earth emanating this intelligence and we are giving it out freely and we are giving it out really effortlessly because this is who we are and in the same way we are effortlessly becoming transmission points for harmlessness and for a state of peace and just imagine hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of us 
we are transmission points. And the more we start to understand this, the more we start to remember, we will actually feel that we are, through being these transmission points, we are doing our mission and we are in our purpose. And what happens then, when we do really start to understand this, we start to feel very much in balance and we start to feel this inner balance returning into our field and there's really no more chasing, no more searching, no more comparison. The whole program about, you know, striving to, to, to to do the mission or finding your mission just evaporates and you understand by living and experiencing your life and all the time committing more and more, you're becoming a stronger and stronger transmission point of the highest vibration of Christ consciousness. And that's why so many of us are here for the Christus mission. We're here for the return of Christ, of Christ consciousness. and. At least I believe there's so many books tale saying that Christ is coming back. Yes, Christ is coming back through us. We will be an embodiment of Christ. And with all of these upgrades, we're moving into new levels of really taking charge over our own energy. And with that comes also responsibility over our own energy. So we are actually not only being upgraded, but we are really saying yes to our mission every single day on new le levels by our spiritual commitment to, to really take charge and manage our energy and shift and transmute when that energy is not in unconditional love, when we're not experiencing harmlessness, with compassion, noticing it, not trying to hide it, but taking responsibility over it and just checking, okay, so where am I still stuck in some programs running or where am I allowing negative portals to be opened so I'm losing this? But we can no longer fail. We can only become stronger and stronger and stronger as transmission points. And that in itself is just incredible. Mm. All of us, I believe, are reaching to higher states of consciousness. And the highest state we can reach is when we manage to not only feel love but to be in that state of love and it's important that we are also authentic and truthful when we're not in that state because the faster we can observe the faster we can allow it we're not judging it and the faster we can transmute it and we reach next level of upgrade so each moment we are recognizing a program running on our field or a belief system is is ready to be cleared or renewed there's an initiation in that and we maybe need to undergo certain you know like tasks in the human self maybe we need to say no maybe we need to end something maybe we need to move maybe we need to try something or speak our truth and when that initiation is done we're feeling that incredible state of love omni love which is actually the state of feeling god from within and that's when we have reached next uh, next level of upgrade and we have reached next level of consciousness. So higher states of consciousness are coming through each challenge, each initiation, and through each initiation, next upgrade and the next state of higher consciousness. And we have so many beautiful beings assisting us. And the higher state of consciousness we can reach, the more we can communicate 
with outer external intelligences also that can assist us when it stands to be here on earth because many of us are not only transmission points but we are also portals of clearing dense energies on earth so right now we can also really and we are getting massive massive assistance by by higher beings that wants to assist us in being gatekeepers and they come in as guardian hosts and they do assist us on this really really intense but beautiful journey the the, the the love that we are becoming is that love that expresses and honors the holiness of all expression of life, which means that we honor all expression of life, which means also the dark nights of the show, so the shadows, the challenges, all those things that we need to be able to witness. And we become a, a transmission point for so many other beautiful souls that still maybe judge themselves massively and still compare themselves. And instead we become this source of inspiration and we don't need to fix them. We don't need to do anything. We're just becoming this light pillar that just totally are in this God consciousness. So that's also why we will experience a lot in May that our brain is not functioning. Um, and, and that's really, really a good sign of any time. We want to be sharp, focused and alert, but not sharp, focused and alert in, in thinking. We want to be able to detach so much, be so much in the present moment that our mind is so clear that when an intuitive message comes in, we have the energy to receive it and execute. That's the responsibility. Instead of going around and chasing the messages, they just come to us. So, me will also assist us to clear any l energy leakages and we were allowed timing to move into our field. For an example, I can still find myself in trying to to set a day, like this day I'm going to do this, I'm going to work on this, but then the energy is not there and I, every time I surrender, the, the energy comes in the right timing and everything gets done. But I still, I've been working on this for a long time, but sometimes I still forget and I plan and I think I can control when something is going to be finished or you know, all of those things. So the discipline and the diligence is not going to be used to complete things at a certain time. The discipline and the diligence is to, to clear our energetic field so we are in that state of unconditional love, harmlessness and peace. Ah, so when the right timing, which I don't decide, it's actually God and my family of light and the higher self and the group field if I'm doing a work that decides like now, now is the right timing. And that's also why it's so important that we do create space and that's why all of us are feeling a strong sense of creating freedom because we know now we need the freedom in, 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 in a sense of time because when we have a time and we feel free that's when all these packages of light and wisdom and intelligence just comes through it's really like the angels and the archangels and these incredible teams just comes in with the lack packages w and our light body is just totally open and we're just like <laughs> receive it so I hope this transmission could 
could assist you in what happens right now and somehow find a deep sense of comfort and gratitude and joy of of what we're actually are experiencing we are being massively upgraded and things will become so much easier because we are right now embodying this state we're becoming this omni love we're becoming the the way shower and the way knower of god <coughs> which is really all we came here to be and from there we just are being able to explore and explore and explore in the Christ Sophia energy which is the divine inner child that is so curious about life so the divine inner child just creates from that unconditional love and harmlessness and, and magic happens when we at least expect that and there's always that deep sense of oneness that where we know that we need each other like I need you as much as you need me there's no separation and the, f and the energy needs to flow equally so beloveds let's see what wants to come through mm. And on Monday, me and Elizabeth Rose are gathering together, and I hope you will be joining on that deep source healing. Because the intention that my guides are bringing in is really for us to connect with that state of love, that state of Omnila, which is the highest healing frequency, unconditional love, when we manage to to become that state of energy everything can be healed really everything can be healed it's such a deep and profound healing state so it's just that we're gonna unlock that on on monday that's what they say and from that state things will shift massively okay beloved so let's take a couple of deep breaths together Mm. And allow your breath to expand your heart. Allow your breath to reconnect and strengthen your connection with your beautiful, unique heart vibration. So we ask to close all negative portals. And we ask to have this transmission and activation fully protected by God's eternal living light and infinite love, light and power. And as again, as always, we only want that each and every one of us receive what is in the highest of the highest divine order and harmony. Mm. So just feel your heart. Your heart is beating. Your heart is beating of excitement. It is that inner child that is really getting more and more excited about the future. Because we are now, you are understanding that there is a limitless possibility for you to create your future from now on and your heart right now is just beating of so much excitement for just for a while just acknowledge that divine inner child that is really feeling so much hope and excitement Mm, and allow hope to be expanded in your heart. Allow dreams to take place in your heart. Listen to your dreams. See your dreams. Smell your dreams. Feel your dreams. For a while, your heart just asks you to feel how your dreams are being felt sense your dreams energetically on a feeling level how does it feel for you to allow an endless flow of dreams of dreams and excitement to flow through can you allow yourself to fully allow this fountain, fountain of really endless dreams. There's so many dreams that you blocked on your journey earlier, but now you're ready to explore them with this witness.
witnessing state, there is no failure. Urna karana sana kiarana tasya. There is no failure. There is only exploration and lessons. Na kiarana tana kiarana tasa shiarana kurunusuya. So feel your love. You have deeper layers of love to yet discover, beloved. Narana kuru sasana kiarana. You have deep layers of um, a state of innocence. The divine inner child holds unique encodement of innocence and that innocence can create the wildest dreams and even just dreaming these dreams creates a sense of excitement that really brings a foundation of harmlessness Sanarana kurututu kiarana kiarana tatatasiya narana. The teams are bringing forth a vision of many, many animals, many different beings here on earth. Maybe some of these beings haven't found the light yet. Maybe some of these beings are spiraling into the darkness, but we're witnessing their journey. We're witnessing these beautiful animals. We're witnessing our brothers and sisters. We're witnessing ourselves. And we're witnessing the story we have been through, the challenges, which is our medicine. Your love medicine is all the experiences you have been through that you have managed to transform into a compassionate, loving and acceptance state of being. As you are going deeper and deeper into your heart, maybe there's still some experiences that you still cannot fully feel acceptance and unconditional love to. Can you allow yourself to witness that and allow all that is to just be without any attachment or judgment towards yourself? Or that experience, Nara na kurutu sanakiara na tatanaya. Now expand your heart vibration, and just expand your mind. Move in your intention and attention into your brain, into the center of your brain. Expand your beautiful brain, and for a while, honor your brain. And just observe the journey and the path of upgrades, of being able to upgrade yourself into a higher state of consciousness. In the presence of God, you are able to see what is not yours. Now, God's source is really pouring in so much golden, golden codes, source light of forgiveness and unconditional love and peace. So your beautiful mind is assisting and holding space to see the human journey at this moment where you can ha where you have the ability to clear and observe what is not yours with faith and courage and a lot of compassion in your own process explore that program and how it can be cleared and removed and reprogrammed and you are now noticing as you are reprogramming, you're automatically upgrading not only your light body, but your entire consciousness to a higher bandit, into a higher state. 
Let's just feel and sense how it is to be in, a, in an expanding energetic space connected to your heart and actually use your mind and brain and contemplate over this journey. Feel how you're actually activating a state of focus, sharpness and alert where you witness, you actually use your brain in the highest capacity. Rise higher and higher and higher. And my, now you might be able to witness several challenges or stories or experiences that are right now being played out in your life. Your teams are pulling you higher and higher so you can observe a certain situation that you would like to observe from a higher state of consciousness. Receive the information that your brain is assisting you with. You're receiving the why this is happening right now. You're letting go and detaching from the outcome of this entire experience or what is now being played out. And as you've seen this, you drop it, you release it, and you go higher up, higher, rise, 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 and just fully connect to that state of love, feeling safe, knowing that you are exactly where you need to be and that everything is synchronized for your highest good. So this was a light package that just came through the team says that is now being installed. If you want to receive it into your field like a recording and this will be assisting you to do this way, journey, easier and easier in your everyday life. Now let's go of your mind, just feel expansion. Feel that you move to this state where you are in zero point, feeling peace, a neutral state. And you can be here, enjoying the present moment, until something intuitively comes in. And then you take care of it with your heart and your mind in a higher banded level. Take a couple of breaths and slowly come back into your body as we ask for this work to be sealed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it, so be it, so be it. It is done. Breathe and come back. Wow, beloveds, how did you feel around that? That was interesting this is so beautiful when we come together because i love the the intelligence that comes through when we work in the group field so i mean i love to go into this alter states but in this state we were asked to use our brain i i, I really like that so beloveds let's enjoy this month of may of course there will be those challenges and initiations but when we can see them as the the moment before the upgrade and when we do understand and embody more and more the transmission points that we are we feel a deep sense of purpose and especially when we come together and we gather with our transmission points we become unstoppable and we do this incredible impact like together in that moment so beloveds thank you for joining in i hope to see you on monday i love you i honor you many of you i will be seeing in two weeks in glastonbury i i'm wishing you a beautiful continuous day i love you Mwah. blessings